Yeah, so I was traveling abroad with the USAC uh, consortium and we were going to Shanghai, China for uh, business and uh, Chinese studies. It was difficult for me. Uh, I don't come from the uh, strongest financial background, so doing this was a big part of it, but I was able to do it as long as I put everything in order. I really loved uh, the USAC program. I loved the way that they set it up. It was a middle of the road. It wasn't something where you're completely abandoned. You're mostly on your own, but you always have someone to work with uh, and someone who you're really going to get help from. Uh, but also, you don't have that like constraining thing you have when it's a faculty-led and they're deciding what you're doing every day and maybe only get one free day. So I like the in-between. I think probably one of my favorite memories uh, was when we were going out to Nanjing, which is the old capital of uh, China, we were going up these mausoleum stone steps and it's just quite a hike up, but uh, we get all the way up there and then suddenly we walk through this archway and there's at least 150 like school children who have just noticed that all these foreigners who really don't frequent the mountain that often come through and they just erupt in this hello, you can see them all waving, it's a long sustained thing, they all come over and just are like, uh, tapping us and saying little phrases uh, and just like pointing at their friends. They're definitely excited with it and so uh, we talked to them for a little bit uh, and just enjoyed their company and then uh, continued our way up the mountain but that was probably the most wholesome moment of the whole trip for me. I think what surprised me the most, I did a lot of research for mine and I was pretty in tune with Chinese friends I have here and all of that but what surprised me most is honestly how similar uh, lifestyles could be especially for Shanghai. It was a very um, metropolitan and western style city. Uh, so besides the language barrier, there wasn't too many huge different things. Uh, they had some more amenities with such a big population, but uh, people still go to the corner store for their groceries, people still enjoy going out drinking on the weekends, people still get food from the same places, they still do the same things for fun. Uh, so I was definitely surprised by how similar it was. I was expecting the huge foreign experience, and don't get me wrong, there will be so many things that are different for you, especially if you're someone who's uh, not experienced other cultures as much or any of that, but you'll be surprised how much you can relate to a lot of the things they do. So yeah, it's very interesting talking about the change that uh, study abroad brings, because for some people it changes exactly who they are, and for other people it just, just for some people it might not change much about them, but I feel like it less changed who I am and like how I do things and all that, but it definitely gave me a bigger insight into things like just how big the world is. I pick up on the slighter hints of things and I definitely feel like I have a better understanding of the world, especially in a Chinese context. The current adventure is getting back into life here because that is quite a difference. Uh, you'll notice that when you come back, just getting things in order, uh, getting back into the swing of how we do things here. I didn't think it would be different, but it's a lot more different coming back than it was leaving and going somewhere new. Oh,